snap mock carcasses everywhere. No wonder the Glint Hawks were drawn here. And Nora saved his life. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't been able to pay. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of Anora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements, and Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. She did save his life. But I'm sure he'll listen to your prejudice over his own common sense. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. 
Even though it will bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. This... This is a good day. I know why I hate Assis. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the Lodge. My father and brother were both Hawks. Assis let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um... What sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as Hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet, as soon as I leave the Sacred Lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. I didn't know. I'll remember that. What happened in the massacre? King Duran's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sunring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. What happened to the men in the sun ring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the Lodge itself. I have to unseat Assis. Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there.
There are no shadows under the noonday sun. An Osterum tries to... Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. Where's Talana? Maybe upstairs. No Assis either. Maybe Ligon knows where they are. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Talana did as well. Though I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. No. I have a matter of great... What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things?
reply to the city guard the other day. Amazing. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick Check of it. Check out these wares. There are no shadows. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Freeholds were warned. You're talking about orders. I'm talking about lies. Too much Asaram influence the palace. What's he thinking letting Durval go? That sounds like her. <sighs> These must be the outlanders that follow Talana. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride. Even though he knew we needed to unseat Assis. I'd have to leave something else behind. I'm not sure where Assis and Redmaw went from here. I can follow their tracks. This way. Redmaw destroyed these trees. Here were too late. Tarkus arrived in time to see him die from the woods. There he is. Redmaw.
holding his own. Was. Was holding his own. Well, we have our work cut out for us. Beautiful. We make a great team. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora. Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive. In dark times. No. You buried it. Along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight Redmaw first, to soften him up. Yeah. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <laughs> okay then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you.
should be a way to override even these things. Tough, but I'm used to it. Machines are alert. My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Freehold to war. Would you like to buy something today? I'm talking about lives. That's what the orders are for. Thank you. 